Hey, hey. My hair. Wow, there's a lot of sun coming in, which is amazing. Grand Rising, everyone. Peace and love. Tierra Chardé here. It is time for the Divine Message for the Collective. It is Tuesday the 16th. I hope all is well and you're having a fabulous day thus far. I'm going to take a moment let all of y'all get in the room. Make sure you're sharing this to your groups, to your friends list. Um, share it with people who you feel can get a lot from it. Share it with people who, you know, if this storyline sounds like somebody you know, make sure you're sharing it with them. Hey, peace and love. Welcome, welcome. Um, all you guys know the Divine Message for Collective every single Monday through Friday. And on Friday, I give you your weekend forecast. I'm normally on my YouTube Alive, um, Tierra Neo Chardin. Make sure you're subscribing to the channel, the link to... That is in the description box. The link to my website is in the description box as well. Make sure you're scheduling a private session with me so you know something more specific to your situation, okay? Um, so this could be you, the other person. This energy could have, these situations could have already happened, are happening right now, or will happen in the future. And again, this may not resonate with everyone. This is for the collective. This is tapping into millions of people. Hopefully, I'll have something for you. Hey, Grand Rising, Jessica, how you doing? Hey, Albert, Lee, James, how y'all how y'all feeling? Welcome, welcome. Um, So, you guys know I'm doing a special $10 reading for ages 18 to 22. Also, you receive $15 off of any service when you refer to people. Hey, hey, my manifestation rituals come with a consultation so we know if you're in alignment or not. Uh, there's other things going on. There is a retreat. There is a retreat August 16th through the 18th in Palmyra in Georgia, Callaway Gardens. I will be there. We'll be doing divinations. I'll be discussing your soul's purpose, helping with workshops, uh, leading a workshop. So make sure you're checking me out. Also today and every single Tuesday in Bridgeport, Connecticut, we have a wellness class with the beautiful Leani and myself. This is for women only, but we'll, we are working on other projects, okay, you guys? Hey, Sergi, welcome, welcome. Um, so make sure you're coming out this Tuesday if you are in the tri-state area, Fairfield County, New Haven County, Litchfield County. Make sure you're coming out to Bridgeport, Connecticut, okay? So let's get into it. This vi uh, video is titled Childlike Joy. So first off, let's get into my single crowd because I feel this message um, is for many groups of people, yes, but... The single stuck out with me first and foremost, so let's get to you guys. Hey, how you doing? Um, so for my single crowd, it's looking like you guys are pouring love into self. We've been talking about that over the past few weeks. Um, really tapping into your energy, your divinity, realizing what you want for yourself, and then you're moving forward and you're going after that. You are attracting love literally by loving yourself. Oh, you guys, hey, the look at all this piece, uh, sweatshirt. Many of you guys have reached out to me. You are wanting to purchase. I'm sorry if you look to see all my, my legs and stuff. You're wanting to purchase. Um, I'll keep you posted on purchasing and ordering. I'll let you guys know what to expect with that. Um, if you um, would like, message me your sizes, okay? I'm, I'm ha offering two separate shirts, so... Message me your sizes. I'll keep you posted on that. I'll be posting them on my website um, by the end of this week, okay? So, anyway. So, you singles are pouring love into yourself. That self-love, self-mastery, and you're attracting uh, romantic partners. You're attracting admirers through that. Some of you have just started dating. Um, now, you or the other person could have a child or children because children are major right now. We've been talking about this for the past couple weeks as well. Pay attention to these children. They're magical, mystical, magical beings. And many of you have given birth to mystical, magical souls who are supposed to do great works in this place. So make sure you're paying attention to them. Some of you, you're um, dating someone who has a child or wants more children. This could be you or the other person. And you're trying to figure out how the relationship is going to go with these children. Uh, what's the relationship dynamic with the other person's, uh, with the parent? You know what I mean? So you're putting all these things together. You're figuring it out. For some of you, there is a need to have a discussion on how um, something in the beginning stages is going. So this could relate to children. Many of you, we've talked about it. You are expecting. You will be expecting. Um, many of you have given birth. So you're going to have discussions on the beginning stages of something, such as a pregnancy, such as the beginning of a relationship, 
as well as discussions that relate to children or your childhood, okay? I don't know how that relates. Like I said, take what resonates, leave the rest. It's for somebody else, okay? Um, so having that discussion is, is going to open you up for those of you who are dating or those of you who have children and are looking... I feel like I have a, a hair on my lip. I'm so sorry, you guys. For some of you who feel like... um. You know, who feel like you need to have a discussion about this, you know, and you're going to be strategic. Maybe you are, you know, co-parenting. Maybe you're a stepdad to somebody's children. You're really wanting to do things a certain way for the person you're with or for the children that you're with. Um, there's going to be balance brought into a situation. So if you feel like one of your children isn't getting what they need, you will start to understand what they need and you'll supply it for them. Okay, there's something like that. There's definitely going to be a conversation about children with children, or like I said, the beginning stages of something. So this could be a project, this could be a career. Okay, many of you are entrepreneurs, you're starting, we said this yesterday and last week, you're starting um, a new product or a new service, and you're really wanting to figure out how it's going to work out. So you're talking about it, you're meditating on it, um, and it's gonna, you're going to do well. Okay, so this is the common denominator, the common thread here. You guys are doing well. If you are not doing well right now, you will be doing well. Just keep moving forward. Stay in alignment. Stay as grounded and as balanced as possible. We talk about this all the time on the Divine Message for the Collective. Know what you want to create so that you are better able to create it. The key players are better able to find you according to your frequency. You know what I mean? It's like, oh, like you're on this level. I'm on this level too. Let's link up. Many of you are finding that, hey, good morning, Shakira, how you doing, Grand Rising? Many of you are finding your partner that way because you are on the same level. You are vibing the same. You're into poetry. You're into music. You're into gardening. You're into, I don't know, public speaking, reading. Whatever it is, you guys are moving into that, okay? You're moving into that by yourself or you're moving into that with a person. Some of you are going to really be honing in on your coin, Okay, in tarot, we call it the coins, we call it the pentacles. You're really going to start tapping into that energy and, and building your money, okay? Some of you, this is, like I said, this is the beginning stages. Hey, Rod Johnson, hey, Sunbeam. This is the beginning stages of something. So many of you have an idea on how to make money and you're on point. Some of you have just implemented something and you're on point. Alu Remy, welcome, welcome. Um, what you're thinking of as far as business, finance, career is on point. So what you're going to do, some, some, actually some of you, hey Damien, how you doing? Some of you may have borrowed money from somebody or have lend, lent out money for someone in the pursuit of, um, say this person was trying to create a business, create some sort of program or curriculum. You might have taken out a loan to do this, to support your business or given somebody some sort of help or this could also be you guys you hired someone or someone hired you this could definitely be it so what i'm gathering um pardon me i thought i picked up on something else no so what i'm gathering the most is many of you are going to be joyful and happy about a certain person place or thing conversation that's going to take place you're going to have clarity of mind clarity of thought all right, things are going to be out in the open. If you have secrets, expect for you to prepare for yourself to discuss them. I'm feeling like many of you, you want to discuss certain things that are that's on your mind, that has been bothering you, that you can't quite figure out on your own. You just need some advice. You need a mentor. That's great. That's okay. Okay, understanding what you need is very powerful. So if you feel like you need somebody to talk to, go talk to somebody. All right, go talk to them. Um... Many of you, hey, peace and love. Many of you, you know, you need, you're needing some sort of guidance. You're right at the, the beginning stage of the next level. Like I said, new beginnings are here. So you're wanting to make sure you're, you're going about it the right way. So you're going to be pursuing help, okay? Um, meditation is here. Getting out in nature is here. Oh my goodness, the sun is out here in Connecticut, here in Bridgeport. I, I grounded this morning. Um, I did my wake and bake and meditations and affirmations. I sure did. 
you have to do that. You have to make sure you're grounded. So get out in the fresh air. If it's still cold where you are, crack a window. Breathe in some fresh air. Um, go for a swim if you can. Go for walks, hikes, fish if you if that's what you're into. I don't know. Um, look for four-leaf clovers. Go to the park. Take your children to the park. Take your aunties or your, your nephews and your nieces, your cousins. Take them to the park. You know, like I said, children... Energy is heavy here, like heavy, but in a beautiful way, which I mean, it, it's strong. So children are going to be in and up out of your life right now or childhood situations is definitely here. So many of you are going to be thinking about the past. You're going to be reconciling things that might have happened in your childhood, things that you couldn't control, things that brought you joy. OK, um, you know, loved ones that might have passed on that you grew up with, you know, grandparents, you remember them as a kid and you're just thinking about this. All of this is a factor here, but many of you are going to find, like I said, some sort of joy or happiness, I feel like, over the rest of this month. Like, I, like I've been saying, many of these videos have dates, but they're not necessarily date-specific. So, some like, you could be watching this video and you'll be like, oh my god, that happened two months ago. Or you could be watching this video and be like, no, I don't know what you're talking about, but a month from now, this video could apply. So make sure you're checking all of the videos in my archive. Like I said, hey Kip, how you doing? The link to my YouTube channel is in the description box. I have about 200 videos right now. They're all divinely guided messages, y'all. Like many of you guys know my journey. I only turn on this camera when there's something to say. <laughs> when the divine is like, nah, you talk about this. And I'm like, all right, I guess I will. I don't want to be in front of the camera, but okay. So many of you guys know my journey. So all of those videos have content that are for the people. Literally, that's literally why I'm here. I studied my soul's purpose. I'm here to tell on myself. <laughs> it's what I'm here to do. I'm here to channel messages for y'all. I'm here to be a psychic medium and a shaman and clairvoyant and all them things. And so are y'all. So get to work. I can't be the only one out here shining my light. <laughs> all right, y'all got to do it too. And many of you are. Oh my gosh. You guys have been so amazing. Um... Really working on your self-mastery, your meditation, tapping into your ancestry, your spirit guides. You know what I mean? Digging real deep into your spirituality, searching for the truth. Many of you, things don't resonate with your spirit anymore, and you're figuring out why. You know, you're figuring out, like, dang, this was never in alignment with me. Or you're figuring out, like, wow, I, I've gone through such a major transformation. Like, this doesn't even feel the same anymore. I gotta do something different, because... I've grown, like so many of you have grown. So many of you have been through weight loss transformations, detoxes, you kicked addictions to the curb or that's what you're doing. You know, you're stepping up as a parent, as a sibling, as a friend, you know, um, you're launching your new business, you're getting raises at work, people are recognizing you, you know, you're going back to school. So many of you, you're, you're on your journey, whatever that means to you, keep going, keep thriving. Be grateful for what you have. I made a post yesterday, you know, about my sweatshirt, what inspires me these past couple years to say, look at all this peace. And it's just like, man, I've grown so much. I've come so far. <laughs> you know what I mean? I had locks a year ago. Now I have my, my, my curls back. Just look at all the peace that's around you. Okay? It's rainy. Well, you know what? At least there's rain that hits the earth and that can water the plants. You know, the birds are making noise. Well, look, they're waking you up every day with beautiful song. Just look at the peace that's around you. Don't focus so much on the things that you don't like. Okay, yeah, real life happened. Real shit goes on. But there's peace somewhere in your life, and you're going to have to hold on to that and create it for yourself. Be that peace. So I decided I'm going to be the peace. <laughs> Even if my life is tumultuous and I don't know what the hell is going on, and I'm like, look, I don't know. I'm just trying to get these lessons. I can still say, look at all this peace. I could still be that. I could look myself in the mirror and be like, God damn, look at the, all this peace. Look at it. Get a load of it. Looks good, don't it? Many of y'all got to do that. Do that for yourself. Look in the mirror and say that to yourself. Say these affirmations. Feed power into yourself. You know, we talked about that many for, many, uh, before. Many of you are magicians. Like you just create out of thin air. This is what we do. We are creators. So make sure you're pulling in what you want to pull in. Make sure you're giving yourself that self-love. Make sure your cup is full and overflowing before you ever think to share some of you with somebody else. 
That's what gets us in trouble, okay? We, we're, we're half on empty and we're trying to give to somebody and then we both miss out. We both messed up. And they say it all the time, you know, in the airplane, put on your mask first before you even put on your child's mask. This is the same concept. This is the same concept. And for me as a spiritual practitioner, I really have to make sure I'm in alignment, I'm balanced, I'm meditated so that I can put my best foot forward for y'all. Like I have to show up for myself in order to show up for y'all. And that's, I had to learn that the hard way. Many of us have learned that the very hard, the real hard way. And now we know better, so we do better. So shout outs to y'all. Tap into that joy. Tap into that childlike energy today and for the rest of your life. Just be joyful, be at peace, be grateful, all right? So that is your divine message for the collective for Tuesday the 16th. I will be here tomorrow. You guys already know, Monday through Friday, I will be going live. And on Friday, I will be pulling your, um, I, I made sure it was next to me, the Sacred Traveler Oracle card every single Friday. So you go into your weekend with a weekend message and with an oracle card, I'll read it with you, okay? Make sure you're checking the other Friday messages so you can get your oracle messages, okay? Um, the link to my YouTube channel is in the description box. I have a, a special. My 1,000th subscriber gets a free reading. I'm also going to be dropping little jewels along the way, so make sure you're subscribed. Bing! Make sure you're clicking on the bell to know when I'm dropping a new video, okay? This video will be uploaded to my YouTube channel as well. Uh, the link to my website is in my YouTube channel. Take advantage of the specials that I have while I have them for the youth, 18 to 22, and the $15 off if you refer two people to me. Okay? Okay? <laughs> that is all, you guys. Have a beautiful day. Message me if you need me. Peace and love. Mwah.